Grilling steaks are so fast and easy to prepare and cook that they make a perfect weeknight meal. Well, this nutrient-rich recipe of mushrooms and steak is adapted from the Dietitian of Canada cookbook called Cook. And joining me today is Joyce Parslow and Kareen Gale, both from Canadian Beef, and they're going to share with us how to make a great steak and mushrooms, and Kareen, some great tips on nutrition. So stay with us as we cook with Canadian Beef. Start with beef strip loin grilling steaks. Choose Canadian prime, AAA, or AA grade steaks that are at least one inch thick. Thin steaks are easily overcooked, making them dry and less tender. Trim the steaks all over. If the beef looks lean, it is lean. Pat the steaks dry with paper towel to encourage browning. And season all over with freshly ground pepper or Montreal steak spice. Grill the steaks over medium-high heat for about five minutes per side for medium-rare. While the steak cooks, heat the canola oil in a large skillet over medium-high heat. Add the sliced mushrooms and the minced shallots to the pan. You can use various types of mushrooms if you like. Sauté for about four minutes or until the vegetables are softened. Add the garlic and sauté just 30 seconds. Stir in dried thyme, dry white wine, and Worcestershire sauce. Cook for two to three minutes until the wine is reduced and season with salt and pepper to taste. Let the cooked steak rest for at least five minutes to allow the juices to settle. Carve the steaks crosswise into thin slices and place on a platter topped with the mushrooms. Serving the steak this way makes it easy to personalize each portion size. And since there's not one steak per person, there are fewer steaks to manage on the grill, so cooking is simplified. Kareen, this looks delicious, but would you consider steak an indulgence? Well, actually, steak is a healthy indulgence and one you can feel good about serving to your family. Even with the flavorful mushroom sauté, this recipe actually only has 144 calories per serving. It's lean and it's loaded with 14 essential nutrients. And beef is also part of Canada's food guide, of course, so really there's no reason not to make steak a part of your weekly meal plan. So what can we do to make healthier, lower fat beef choices? Well, a good rule of thumb that I like to tell people is this. If beef looks lean, then it is lean. Unlike some other foods, think of a muffin, for example, um, which can be loaded with hidden fats that you can't remove, the fat in beef is visible. So you're in control about how much fat is in the meat that you're going to eat. Where you see the fat, just trim it, either before or after cooking. Now, when you're talking about fat, though, isn't there bad fats in beef? saturated fat. I'm glad you asked that. So here's a little known fact that uh, I think is really important for people to know. It turns out that about half of the fat in beef is actually not saturated. It's actually the healthy unsaturated kind. Most of it the same kind that we find in olive oil. So we actually don't need to be worried about how much fat is in beef. Well, Sheila, actually this might surprise you. About ha half a cup of trimmed beef only has just over five grams of fat. And just to put that in perspective, five grams is about the same amount you'd find in other healthy foods, like a cup of 2% milk, for example, or an egg. So it really fits into our fat quota for the day. So we don't need to be worried about the amount or the type of fat that is in beef. That's right, as long as you trim it and keep it to a reasonable portion size. So I guess, Corrine, with a beautiful dish like this, there's only one thing left to do. Tasting! Oh, thanks, Joyce. You're welcome. Perfect. 
For more nutrition tips and great beef recipes, visit beefinfo.org.